Hi, Arish Boy, ArishBoy.com, and today I'm going to speak about changing your gear or getting more things uh, in your bag and uh, how to do it, when to do it. Let's start. Well, first of all, what I'm going to speak is about reasonable reason uh, for changing it. Obviously, if you just do it because you like it, you can afford it, and you want the late, latest version or, version or different gear, new gear, whatever, obviously, you're free to do it, and I'm no one to advise uh, about that. Uh, you don't get your money to the cemetery when you die, so enjoy it, and that's it. So I'm going to speak about reasonable uh, situation and uh, why it would be logical to change or not your gear. First of all, the first reason is obvious. If your gear is failing, uh, whether it's always or sometime, and you ask for a quote for uh, repairing it and uh, it's not worth it, so obviously it's time to change your gear. So that would be uh, really the, the reason uh, that, that is the most obvious. Second. Don't forget one thing, if your uh, photography situation has not changed, it means uh, the kind of picture you were doing, uh, you're doing right now is the same one you did uh, yesterday and last year and uh, the light situation, the climate situation, whatever, has not changed and you are getting the result you want, uh, your gear is giving you exactly what you need, there's absolutely no reason to change your gear. So obviously you're getting back to uh, point one, this is just I feel like it and that's it. I want to spend my money on that and that's it. So no problem with that, respect and uh, do it. But uh, if the situation has not changed, your gear will give you the same results. And likely if you change your gear, you will get the same result because you already get what you want. So there's no reason to change. But if you feel that you fail or you miss many pictures because of your gear, then it's time to think about a situation. Very often we speak about camera bodies, but actually it's also lenses or lighting or whatever. So uh, if, for example, you do uh, sport photography and uh, you need a really high burst rate and you get like, what you have is three images per second and you would need 10 images per second, obviously you can ask your, your gear to do it. So obviously there's a problem. Uh, if you do low light situation and uh, your picture are really noisy at 800 ISO, obviously uh, maybe you need something that is clean at 3200. And uh, sometimes it's not, it, you just miss the picture or the picture is there, but it's no good because your gear is too limited for that. So obviously it's time to think about changing, to have uh, more gear to complement what you have. Then there are situations when uh, everything what you do is fine, but you're thinking of doing new things. And then you realize that your gear is too limited for what you want to do. Uh, for example, uh, you have right now just a kit lens and you wanted to do uh, super wide angle pictures. Obviously, you will need to think about the wide angle lens. Or you just have a wide angle lens and you think about uh, animal pictures at about half a mile away. So obviously, you need uh, to think about uh, a tele lens or you want to do specific lighting situation and you need some flash units or whatever. So obviously uh, this is something you didn't do up to now, but you want to do and you need the gear to do it. Or you want to do submarine uh, photography, uh, underwater photography. Obviously if you don't have a case for that or a specific camera for that, you cannot do it if your gear doesn't let you do it. So these are new things you want to try, new things you want to experiment, or if it's your business, new things you want to offer to your clients, and you need the gear to be able to do it. So that's a big reason to uh, complement your gear or uh, buy a new one or different one. Then the first thing you must do is to diagnose your needs, like build, uh, the camera build, uh, is it uh, waterproof, is it uh, dust proof, is it uh, humidity proof, uh, do I need something more solid uh, that can uh, su support more vibration or whatever? And uh, what's about burst rate? Do I need a higher burst rate? Is what I've, I have is fine. Resolution, do I need more resolution? Is my uh, 10 megapixels enough? Or I need 24 or I need 16 or I need 40? We need to check that. ISO, do I need better ISO? Uh, do I need less noise when I go really up in ISO? My lenses, do I need a uh, different focal length? 
uh, for example, uh, you want to do uh, animal pictures and uh, you have just a wide angle or the other way around or you want to do some macro photography and your, your kit lens doesn't allow you to do that. So this is something you must uh, evaluate. Uh, luminosity. Uh, I need really luminous lens because I mean work in low light situation or I want to really have a shallow depth of field. So this is something you must evaluate too. For what you do you need more sharpness, sharpness because uh, you actually uh, want really details or whatever kind of picture you do. Very often we speak about camera bodies and lenses but we forget about lighting. Do you need flash units, softbox, uh, triggers, whatever. Do I need that? All this? So you must evaluate everything you need. Once you've done that list, you must evaluate the frequency of your need. Because it can be, I need it sometimes, once a year. Well, can you avoid to buy that for once a year? Do you really need that? Or you need it sometimes, once a week. Or you need it on a daily basis. So obviously the decision will be different. If it's just yeah, maybe I'll use it. Yeah, I need it, but do I really? Well, no. Well, then you're back to square one. And then it's just, you feel like it and that's it. Spend your money and do it. If it's from time to time, but I would like to be able to avoid spending that money. Is there some solution? Do a friend can lend me that gear? Can I rent it? Or do I have a solution to avoid using it? For example, when I, I am doing weddings, I was thinking of buying uh, maybe a fisheye lens once because I thought, well, it would be great to have one large picture of the situation. This. And then I thought about it and said, yeah, but this is just one picture. It's half once per or two per wedding. Is it worth it? Uh, are the client going to pay me for that? No, not really. So, can I avoid to, to spend that money? Yeah, don't, don't do that picture. No one is missing it. No problem. And then before having a super wide angle lens, uh, at the same situation and I uh, was thinking that's a lot of money I don't really do really wide angle so I was just doing some uh, panorama and then stitch a picture together and I, I could avoid it this way and if it's if it's a hobby you may think that yeah but I always go along with my friend Peter to make picture and it has a lens I need uh, but I need it for one picture every six months when we are together, can he lend me his lens and uh, I just make this picture, I pay for the coffee or the beer after, and that's it. So think about it, if it's really, if you can avoid it, if, if it's just because you feel like it, go for it. But if it's just because you really think you need it, do you really need it on a daily basis? And obviously, if you need it every day, then you have no other choice than buying it. There, there are no, no other option. What gear should you buy? When we think about lenses, uh, there are not too many new lenses. I mean, it's true that they come up with a new version from time to time, but normally it's every several years. There is a new version of this lens, but the one before had been out for 10 years, you know, so it doesn't, it's a slow market. But on camera bodies, this is really different. When we look at the top uh, of, the, of the range, they change it every three years, four years, more or less. Mid-range, about, two or three years and uh, entry level they change it sometime less than a year or a year and a half so are there so much difference between an icon 5600 and icon 5500 no not really uh, is there that much difference between a, a, a canon uh, 800 and the canon 750 no not really so the question is do i buy the replacement of the camera i have or do I buy a higher level? And you'll see that the difference between one model and the newer model is very often so little that it won't solve any of your new needs or your, actual, your present needs. So really, if you just say, I've got the 52, I've got the Nikon 5200, if I get the 5300, will this solve everything? No, probably not. So maybe you have to go for a higher level the, from f the 5000 series up to the 7000 series. I'm speaking about Nikon, but it would be any brand, it doesn't matter. Okay, so very often you realize that except when it was the first model they came out, the second version, very often they fix many problems and there are some changes. But then when this is a series that has been out for many years, the difference is very little. So probably you don't, it, it won't solve anything for you. So it's important that you probably 
go up to uh, another level. But then the problem is you have to calculate the collateral cost. I mean, for example, you go from APS-C to full frame. Yes, but are your lenses okay for full frame? Or uh, you go from one APS-C to another one or full frame to another one, but uh, is this new version use the same battery? I have like five or six spare batteries. Can I use them? Do my uh, flash trigger work with this new model? Maybe not. So all this you must evaluate, see if it's worth it. Or if, if it's worth it, maybe it's worth it regarding the needs. But uh, can you afford it uh, to change more than just what you were thinking of changing? So then, uh, when you see all this, you may think sometimes, yes, but my camera body, I just have one kit lens. And really that kit lens uh, is limited. But if I change for better lens, the camera is limited too. So I want to change both. So maybe you're thinking I'm not losing anything if I go to another brand. Maybe other brands have some features that are interesting for you. Like, for example, uh, you were not doing video, but now you think, well, I could do video and that brand is better for that or whatever. So then you must evaluate the collateral cost and maybe it's wise to change brand. Maybe not, maybe it is. So it's the right time to think about that. But all I can tell you is most of the time, if you stay in the same brand, it's better to jump at least two or three generations of your gear or go for a higher level in the same brand if you want to keep the same brand is normally uh, the logical uh, way because then you will see some difference otherwise you won't notice anything and really will, you will spend money and you will be disappointed because there won't be much much difference anyway once you've defined uh, all your needs and uh, all that and frequency all this you must do a pre-selection of the gear what gear would be suitable for me and then you must investigate everything, uh, the specification, everything, everything, everything to really decide what is the best gear for you. And then before making the decision, still you have to get more information because the specification, you can get them from the website of the, of the maker, of the camera maker. But really you need the opinion of other people. So you can check reviews on YouTube or Facebook or whatever but try to get sincere reviews people who are honest and tell the truth and if you want new gear to do things you were not doing right now or you could not do right now and they're really specific for example astrophotography don't speak to anyone like that doesn't know about astrophotography uh, or if you want to do submarine photography don't speak to me the, the the most underwater i've been is under the shower so really i cannot help you on that so go to specified specialized website or specialized Facebook group or special uh, YouTube channel and ask there, uh, what gear are you using? I was thinking of this gear, I see many people use it. What do you think about it? Uh, or I was thinking of this gear, but I see no one is using it. Why? Uh, oh, it's too expensive or there are other options or it's failing after six months or whatever. And try to speak to people who are using their gear the same way you want to use yours so this way you probably get better opinion be aware that many people tend to say this is great gear when they've just opened the box they have not actually used it some people also feel ashamed of telling that their gear is not as good as they want it so try to get the most objective opinion it's hard to get it but try to get it so it will help you buy the right product for you the right gear and then when you've decided this is the gear I want, then you have two options. Do I, do I buy it new or secondhand? I'll leave you a link to a video I made about buying secondhand. There are some gear that have on secondhand that are great opportunities because people buy it as, uh, well, I'm going to buy this fish eye or this uh, underwater uh, case or whatever, and actually almost never use it. So one day they decide to sell it and they sell it for a bargain because they don't, don't want to get rid of it so you have great opportunities but always you have to take care of the condition if there's still some guarantee all this and check all this otherwise you can buy new and same thing there are some great opportunities and other not good opportunities uh, because there are some sales or whatever bargains or whatever so you must check everything and decide but for my conclusion don't forget one thing uh, I see many people they spend the money they don't have 
they spend their kids vacation money so at the end they have a new camera and this summer they don't go traveling because they don't have money left for that or they buy a great tele lens to make a picture of animals but they don't have the money to go and see these animals and make the picture so that's a bit stupid so just spend the money you can really afford i know it's your business it's not mine but think that sometime Mm, if you're single and that's it that's your problem but if maybe it's, I see many people that have family and uh, they spend the money they don't have and then at the end the whole family is paying for a camera um, or new lens or whatever and uh, for what because uh, this is really selfish so think really if you can afford this gear and how does it affect uh, the rest of the year for you and uh, the rest of your life and how does it affect uh, your close family uh, life it's very important well, that's it. I hope this uh, video has helped you. If you think it may help other people, please share it on uh, social networks. Uh, if you have not done yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a small button down here and a small bell. If you click on it, you will get uh, a notification when I upload a new video. My website, erichipo.com. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below or send me an email to info at erichipo.com. And below, you also put links of my gear on Amazon and also links of other parts of my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye.